Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Wyatt. I'm a general dentist who has done nothing but orthodontics since 1970. And uh, I'm a member of the American Orthodontic Society and also in the International Association of Orthodontics. I'm board certified in both of these uh, areas. Uh, I'm going to discuss a little uh, short video here on over eruption of motor teeth and what uh, we really should know about uh, uh, working with motor teeth that are over erupted. You don't go in and grind them off. You put something in there that will actually pick the tooth up or push the tooth up. Now we've got tads. You can put them up here and put elastics under and come up on the inside. You can raise them up that way. That's a little more sophisticated than the way I'm going to show you. We put acrylic pads under them and keep adding to the acrylic and just push the tooth up that way. Uh, so, but you have to depend on the pressure area down here holding it up and you can jack the teeth up and then get them back in place. And then you can come in and put bridges or whatever you wish to restore the area with. Now on the left side of the mouth you can see this is much much worse here and some people would think they'd have to go in and grind this tooth off or this tooth off and put something and that's uh, ridiculous to uh, do that you can push this tooth up and you, you'll put a little force on this and have them chew on it and you can get these teeth leveled out and go ahead and put your bridge work in after that so I just want to show you how we do do this. Uh, here is the lower arch, you see. So we're going to have to, we just make a little acrylic saddle type template, temporary partial, whatever you want to call it. You know, and we put teeth in there and then we build up the, add acrylic to that and push the tooth up in that spot. You can kind of watch it go here. Now, these teeth are not, these are older patients and everything, and you see this one's got root canal therapy. It looks healthy enough. This one is, uh, they're both down in there pretty good, but we're going to have to pull this tooth forward and this tooth backward a little bit to get this lower molar down underneath this tooth at this height right here. So let's go ahead and kind of show you what we do here. Now, <clears throat> I like to put a step down arch in here where you come in on one side and come down with it and come over and come back up. My little pin's not marking very good there. Now, this one we want to pull this tooth forward, you see. So we'll have a space in between here and the tube that so fits on there. And we put a spring on there and we're pulling this tooth forward. And here we're pushing this one backwards and we get the teeth up on top of one another. Now this is already gone for a little while here. This is on a 49 year old lady right there. Let me go back and uh, show you again what uh, where this was. So you think, well, it's very difficult to get this tooth back up on top of that one. But it, it really isn't that difficult. You just keep adding to this until this comes up. And then you pull on this one. And you push on that one. And after a while... The teeth will just kind of ease over on that side like that, you see. And we've got it rigged up where the step-down arch is kind of holding this group together. And we'll try to pull this one underneath here and push this back a little. Do the same thing here. We're pulling on this and shoving this one back. And we can come in and bridge that. And we'll set these up after they get going where you 
come in you bridge both areas in here like that uh, it is possible if you wanted to just to close all this up but here we're going to do some bridges and these are their dentist that sent them in is going to do that so here you see the spring this is an open coil spring here and we're shoving this tooth back this is a closed coil we're pulling on this spring to pull these teeth forward. This arch wire holds these teeth in place right here while we slide this up. Now, you may be able to take this and <laughs> figure out how to do it, but that's the best way in the world to do this. Now, once we get these teeth on top, then we've got it made. In other words, we can continue pushing this back and bring this forward a little better you don't even need to bring it forward anymore in other words you can put your bridges in once you get these teeth lined up you can now we've got this fitting over here all we have to do is just come in and bridge this area uh, now that's much much better than going in here and grinding these teeth off to try to make them uh, have them the same height and everything. Okay, here is the little removable appliance that we came in. We built this out of just really triad acrylic and it fits in the mouth real good. And you have to trim out like you're moving this too forward. You have to trim out some of here and over on this side. And you get the teeth push back up on top here then you can come in with your bridge bridge work and here's the appliance in the mouth and you can kind of see we've got these teeth fitting on we're pulling these up and we'll come in there and bridge that actually I get it going and I send it back to the dentist that referred it and now these acrylic blocks we've added to it, this is all the same height all the way across here, you see. Now they can go in and they can do a bridge on one side if they want to and leave the other side to do it after they have this bridge fixed. They can come back and bridge the other side. It's a little easier than doing both at one time. Now you see this, this step down arch is coming right through here, coming up, but it allows me to drag this tooth forward. You see that space in here, you trim this out. This is a closed coil spring, so it's moving this tooth forward. Same thing on the other side. I'm trying to keep these videos short. Most people don't like to sit down a really go over these things and spend much time on them. Now that's working good there. Now here we've got the patient back from the other dentist that did the bridge work and the bridge work is sitting in here fine now. You don't have these teeth all ground down to do that so but a lot of people have had their teeth ground off so they can put bridges in like that. There's the bridge on one side of the mouth and here's the other side. And there's where it was. This tooth was down. If you'd ground this down, you'd have some little old narrow crowns in there. The thing's working great like this and they can have that the rest of their life. Uh, so I hope you'll take this and uh, learn how to do this simple orthodontic procedure uh, and if you need to you can come to the American Orthodontic Society we have excellent school and uh, classes in all phases of orthodontics and you can learn orthodontics today so hopefully you'll uh, do that uh, I've been a member of the AOS for since it started, 
and it is an excellent organization. We have some wonderful teachers, so you can uh, sign up and take those. And I'll close this out now, and uh, that's a nice little thing to learn how to do.